Ignore persisting hunger and give my diagnosis. Ah yes, your child's blood is filled with cold air and simply needs to be warmed. Grab clearly dead surf baby and throw it into the fire. Mother screams, accuses me of murdering an already very clearly dead and exquisitely delicious baby. Tell village leaders, men, her scream is clearly indicative of witchcraft. Crowd screams and demands her death. Completely forgot I just fried a baby. The men immediately take her outside. No, no, please! Behead her on the chopping block. Head rolls towards doorway. Immediately starts salivating. Everyone claps for my heroism. I'll grab the head later, Dr. Concertado. All praise the good doctor for saving us from the vile witch, an old man yells. Crowd cheers. Look back, baby's not quite medium rare yet. Can't wait, that Irish harp. Next, I scream triumphantly. Man walks up to me. Whispers into my ear that he has an erection and it won't go away. Ha! Ah, I know just the cure for such a matter. I whisper back. Break leg off of chair. Improvise doctor stick dot slide trumpet. Ask him to lay down. Slam him in the dick several times. He vomits off the side of the table. Passes out. Rolls off the table in puddle of blood and vomit. Village leader's men drag him out. He is cured! Stupid fucking morons are loving it. Clapping continues in a feverish display of gratitude. Basking in surf praise. I'm fucking back, dot vihuela. Line up surfs for multi-surf plague beating. Surf beating assembly line, dot Agnes Day. Beating consciousness out of 12 peasants at once. Some of them didn't even have the plague. Laughing like small child. Give out leeches like the Pope gives children night terrors. Whip out good old trip panning device. Gonna dig into some fucking skulls. Release the demons from hysterical women's head who was found attempting to learn to read. Now she doesn't know how to speak. I've done it. Tom Brady of medicine dot transverse flu. Hours of doctoring fly by. Leeches and beatings fly through the air like butterflies in the midst of a spring afternoon. Finally get through the whole line. Village leaders men drag away patients that for some reason died of trauma to the head or blood loss. No idea what happened to Kyrie. Village leader commends me on my spectacular doctoring. Hands me pile of enticing, exquisite, divine medieval bitcoin. Shove it in doctor bag. Town's cleric comes out to congratulate me. See he is in similar cloak to mine, one that is not covered in shit and piss. Tell him I would simply be remiss if I didn't give him my cloak to ward away disease. He is a man of the lord after all. Explain we should switch cloaks so he can avoid violent death of the plague and continue spreading the lord's good word. We switch cloaks. He thanks me profusely. Whatever shithead lol dot Gloria waddles away in my crusty shit caked and piss drenched cloak. I strut off in new not shit covered cloak. Wander outside. See head on ground of dead mother. Lick lips. Look around. No one's watching. Throw head in bag. Stroll into the setting sun. Bag of tender medieval bitcoin and delicious head. I am ready to face that king fuck. I am doctor destined for greatness. Be me. Doctor no longer soaked to the bone with his own feces and urine. Strolling my way to Italy to kill that devil worshipping faggot the king. Just got through Alps. Nuts clenched into my body. Practically begging to be worn by a delicious corpse fire. Finally arrive in the beautiful northern Italian countryside. Sniffing my exquisite freshly cut head from the village before. My dick's a goddamn boulder dot hallelujah. Thinking about ducking into the next town's inn and fucking the head quick before heading to Rome. 
Come over hillside. Town's dead quiet. No mothers beating their children. No fathers yelling in Italian while beating their wives in front of their children while the wives beat their children. The smell of piss and wine remains only a stale far off memory of its former glory. Literally zero people fucking in the street. Nobody yelling at the top of their lungs in a restaurant. Not one person screaming their Italian at passers-by despite them not asking. No way this is Italy, Dot Plaster. Wander into the town. The dull hum of silence. Weird, Dot Aedicules. Look high and low. Look in the usual places people hide bodies. Nothing. Nobody left. Wander into town's doctor office. Clearly an amateur. Barely any charred human remains. Just one baby skull. Exactly one dead bat submerged in an unidentifiable green liquid. Lol loser dot basilica. See amateur doctor stick. Fuck it dot lentil. Take stick. Walk outside with shit to your stick. Decided be boring to fuck head with no one around. What's the point without an audience? No thrill. Decide it's a good enough time to set a fire. Get the town prepared. Dump a shit ton of flammable shit everywhere. Light a torch. Throw it. Town ignites. Watch flame lick at houses. Realize ten minutes in, it's way less fun without screams of terror. No police to spare their children. No begging to make the pain stop. Literally zero people yelping in agony and begging me to kill them. Fucking boring that printing press. <sighs> Bat my little guy around a bit and get him going. Get unenthusiastic wood. Not gonna waste a fire. Access my normal spank bank. Imagine father screaming for help in that dungeon I left him in. Pyronet.baptistry. Put my dick back into my cloak. Saunter out of the burning town. Spend the next couple of days wandering toward Rome, seeing how far I can throw the head. It's starting to smell and fall apart. Can't fuck a head when it's rotting away. Chuck it and knock down a cardinal's nest. Number one draft pick dot Tempietto. Climb up ridge overlooking Rome. Look over him. See Rome. Entirely engulfed in a black storm cloud. Can see lightning flashing echoing from deep within the storm. Now fucking what dot facade? Move my way toward the storm. Wind is howling. Cloud moving in vicious spiral. 